do a big video on it like how you know like not getting like blasted but like um if you you know medicate yourself with a small amount you can hear the frequencies better you can pick apart sounds um yeah well i, I said of course i do because yeah why would why would i lie i'm only lying to myself if i said no and like i don't know i don't want like some kid to start doing it but if you're an adult and you're into music it's like peas and carrots you know hamburgers and mcdonald's but yeah I, I, it's 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 what helped me kind of um uh, like be able to pick apart frequencies and like hear it and like see a stereo image in my mind um because it's all about like abstraction right if you want to like understand something you apply it to something else so like i kind of like um apply it to uh like uh like a bubble in a way and like the low the lower frequencies are like on the floor and uh the higher frequencies are up high and the wideness spreads them out so it's like kind of like oh well, it's not like a bubble it's kind of like a v and you just like put it in your mind and it's all about abstraction like how like those those math geniuses they do math they think of the number as a shape and the shape fits together with other shapes and they have like a bunch of um yeah they, they they've memorized like hundreds and hundreds of different shapes and they have them in their mind and that's how they do math it's weird i think it's it's yeah it's divergent thinking and it's very nice Oh, smaller doses of acid. I no, I, I don't do chemicals. I don't even take Tylenol. You know, like I if if you know if someone, you know, if I could trust someone, or like, Albert Hoffman said, the guy who made it, he said that he doesn't know. He does. He doesn't know where everyone's getting all the chemicals from, because when he made it in like 1912, um, he, he was using like chemicals that were very very rare. And they don't exist anymore. Mm, but yeah, no, I, I don't do chemicals. I don't take Tylenol. I rarely drink. Just you know, combustible plant material. Um, you into philosophy? Uh, as as much as listening to Bill Hicks and all that fun stuff. My album has is like riddled with uh, not riddled. I'm not gonna say that. My album has a lot of symbolism the cover is uh the eye of providence the eye of god coming out of a uh, um uh supernova and like you know carl sagan said we're all made of that stuff so it's like god creating us creating an us creating music no us i don't know i don't know what i was thinking about um yeah i, I, I watch documentaries quite a bit of documentaries um yeah, basically, yeah, I've watched Cosmos, like, a bunch of times. I'm excited for it to come back, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Do you believe in Illuminati and 9-11 was an inside job? You into conspiracies? I'm, I'm not into them. I used to be, and it was kind of unhealthy. But uh, I see I see the point. But, you know, no one, no one should know exactly what the hell happened that day or at all. But yeah, the Illuminati, I have no comment. That's another video. And I'm not paranoid either. Um, if you listen to anything I do, it's very interesting. Press the space bar. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we'll get into the, we'll get into all that fun stuff later. But yeah, we have midside um, EQing. It basically spreads out the top end. Like I said before, it spreads it out it'll create a stereo image you'll hear it now if you're on good monitors or maybe not even headphones if you're on your laptop speakers you have no hope but um what we'll do is like this is very very mono right but then if you boost it it's very wide so what you want to do is you want to do use that just slightly just slightly bring this up and it kind of like spreads it out. Why are we talking about Lindsay Lohan? Seriously. 
what are you doing? But yes, I will I will do the video about um enhancement. Not that kind of enhancement, but like enhancement, uh musical enhancement. Even um if people are interested, I'll talk about T and what T does. The benefits of tea and uh, music and creativity and even nicotine. Da -da 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 -da. Deal business with Kim. Kim died. Oh wait, no. It's the son's name is still Kim. Okay, you guys are just talking about weird stuff now. Okay, let's bring in our loop. Right, I artificially side chain quite a bit, and I do that for main control. Cat, no. She's playing with hate. Oh. Plus one for T indeed. <laughs> so. Um, this is, it could be a vinyl rip, it could not be, um, but there's a lot of headroom on here, and we don't want that for dance music. Do you even compress, bro? Hey, no, I'm done. I'm not talking about seeing sound. I'm seeing, I'm talking about divergent thinking and how it can be applied to anything, even mixing and mastering. And, you know, like some people, they think and see in colors. It's a synesthesia. Synesthesia? Can't say it because I'm an idiot. But yeah, at least I'm not talking about like Taylor Swift and Obama. You silly gooses. Yeah, I can't. I can't click on links. Maybe I'll click on that, that one. Okay, let's see. What did I just watch? Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. That looks delicious. Someone just asked me if I train in martial arts. That is not me. No, I'm too afraid. Illuminati ritual. I'm not ranting. Um, okay, let's continue with our with our music apparatus. So we lost our bass, which sucks. Makes me sad. But we have Flab Filter. No, Fab Filter. It's a it's a good uh, kind of plug-in. Um, apparatus um a big fan of it and this is basically my whole last album what flab filter we may have posted the track three times <laughs> So, <laughs> flab filter. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to bring out um, uh, a bit of bass. It's, it's kind of, I use it as an amplifier. Not even anything kind of like, I don't get into that. I just kind of boost. And then I use it to kind of saturate the high end. That's a little too much. It does sound off a little bit, but uh, it's kind of... It's hit or miss sometimes. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. 
Depends on what you're into. why this whole sampling thing takes like forever because it's hard to nail down it sounds a little commercial and cheesy that sounds better who knows yeah wait which one's better <laughs> the first one <laughs> hopefully slice it to midi i could Try mixing them both. Oh, crap. <sighs> I armed it to record. Yeah, mixing them both. I don't know. I could do that, but... I know they're in separate keys, but or they're repitched differently. Yeah, they would be in different keys. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Sounds cool when you filter it and whatnot. You can like do a band pass. Any specific reason why I prefer that way? Because uh, it's basically what sidechain is doing, but you have more control in a way. Like you can have it just open up quickly instead of, you know, because like depending on the kick, the sidechain could be um, triggered twice. Uh, but this way you get like complete kind of control uh, with like, uh, it's a super fast, well, it's like an instant attack, and the release ends. It will it, the release is smooth, and it ends right on the offbeat. So every way, it's uh, perfect, and it's magic. How about that? It's magical. <clears throat> is there a guy on like EDM production that just like downvotes everything? Every time, it's always like downvote, downvote, downvote. Makes me not happy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. The, the, the using them both, but they're they they. This one sounds thin compared to this one. some glitch yeah it sounds much better now yeah I don't know glitch I don't oh I don't have any of my plugins to glitch oh but I'll show you like what I would use for like the glue and like what it can do like it won't be able to like completely fix it but it'd be able to uh, you know be cool with it <laughs> 